I'm currently 20 years old. I graduated college early at the age of 18, and I recently started a company called Keep, and so far to date we've raised over $4 million. Brian is the youngest entrepreneur ever to receive this much funding. I came up with the idea for Keep when I was actually traveling after I got laid off at my previous job. I was spending a lot of time playing games on my phone, and then I noticed that everybody else around me was seemingly playing a lot of games on their phones too. So the question was, how do we create the right connection between brands and consumers? And so of course we realized, hey, what if we could reward people? And that's exactly what Brian developed, a reward system that gives people real prizes for achieving high scores on their mobile devices. So how the rewards layer works is that, imagine you're playing a game that you love already, um, you're hitting achievements, you're leveling up, you're getting top scores, you're, you're excited, you're doing something meaningful. In that moment, uh, you'll be notified with a reward. And in order to redeem, you put in your email address, you type it in, and you tap redeem. And then you'll get an email instantly with the redemption information in it. So you actually immediately go straight back into the game and you can continue playing. Thinking about this, but the participation is gonna be threefold. Right? When we first met Brian, it was pretty obvious that he, was, he saw the world the way we did. He saw that the advertising model on mobile was completely broken. And he brought us an idea that was something that we saw instantly as sort of the holy grail of marketing. Brian's the type of entrepreneur we like to fund. He's got the passion that makes people want to follow him. On the day we were there, famously untouchable webpreneur MC Hammer dropped by to talk shop. The exciting thing about Keep is that uh, they're approaching uh, a whole new space, creating a whole new space that will, you know, revolutionize uh, the way you engage in, you know, social games. Not changing the experience, but you'll have a certain expectation down the road. You know, you, you, you won't want to play anything that doesn't give you something back. Um, and I would even make it long enough. Uh, when Brian came to us, he was looking to raise $4 million to take three guys and an idea, and they wanted to build a company and go prove that this the vision that they had was something they could build a company around. So we gave them $4 million to go and do that. So when we first heard we were getting funding, the initial round actually just felt very relieving. Um, I knew that we wanted to do this. Our hearts were committed to it already. Um, and it was just a matter of us realizing that now things that we wanted to do would happen. Brian has been making big things happen as long as he can remember. So I uh, skipped grades 2, 7, 9, and 11. And then I graduated college at the age of 18. My mom and dad came to Canada in the 80s and in very sort of humble circumstances. They've never really been pushy as many people may assume stereotypical Asian parents would be. Like, they're not pushy at all. In fact, they never forced me to do anything. They always gave me the choice. During the dot-com boom, I was eight years old. It was around that time that Brian got his first computer. But I remember my dad coming home and going, I don't really know what you can do with this, but I just know that you probably would want to figure something out with this and just kind of plunk it there. I had a lot of fun with my first computer, and it really got me excited about what the possibilities were. At age 16, Brian was two years into college, had his own web design business, and played ice hockey on the side. I uh, spent about 10 years playing ice hockey. So a lot of that type of gameplay, I think helped me sort of be very uh, active on my feet. And that I think contributed to why I'm so instinctual in the way that I, I do things. I want to announce this next week. Now at 20, Brian is heading up a different kind of team. So I think we've built something really magical here and it's really not been a function of me. It's been a function of everybody coming together. My goals today are to build this company into a billion dollar business. He's uh, fantastic about taking ideas and, and bringing them to life. He's great about em empowering a team. My dream for Keep is really to see rewards become a part of everything in life.